These are the basics of Highlander Scout in under 2 minutes. Scout's general gameplay involves getting close to his opponents, dispatching them quickly while also using his movement to take as little damage as possible. In Highlander, Scout's responsibilities are as follows. Using your increased cap rate, you'll find yourself pushing the payload car and capturing objectives when it is safe to do so. If it is unsafe to approach an objective, or you are playing on defence, your responsibilities lie in the flank, either defending it or pressuring it. This is often accompanied by your soldier, who you can communicate to in order to set up plays to secure key picks for your team on the flank, regardless of which side you are playing on. There will be opportunities in the game to flank behind the enemy team regardless of which side you are playing on and pick off key members of the enemy team, creating a numbers ad or an uber ad for your team if you're lucky. However, be aware that you leave your flank unguarded when you're behind enemy lines, so make sure the flank is quick and that you can get back to your team once it's over with. While Scout often finds himself on the flank, you may be required to become part of the combo and receive an uber charge based on the map you're playing. This is most commonly observed in King of the Hill and certain points such as Upward Third. However, be aware this may only be called upon in certain teams and not reflect every single game of King of the Hill or every single payload map. We are now going to talk about combat fundamentals on Scout. When in combat, always play to your strengths and try not to fight in crowded areas. Look for easy 1v1s or 2v2s that you can communicate with your soldier. While Scout does have the lowest health in the game, he can subvert this by using his movement to take as little damage as possible. You can use various props around the map to stand on in order to confuse your enemies, or use his double jump in order to jump off of ledges and back onto them, increasing the difficulty it is for projectile classes to hit you. The high ground being a great place to stand in most combat scenarios due to the fact that it gives you a little bit of an advantage over your enemy, especially when you're playing a key combat class such as Scout, and always respect the invisible line the enemy team has set via a sentry gun or the main combo, as Scout struggles to bypass both of these. This is the most common loadout used in Highlander on Scout. However, on screen now is every weapon that has been run in the past or is considered competitively viable and may fit a loadout you want to run. However, be sure to check your organization's whitelist as certain items on this list may be banned. And that's everything you need to know about the basics of Highlander Scout. Thank you very much for watching and good luck in your games.